putting in Sarah's drink. The police will be interested in this. Alejandro. Sleep, Sarah. Come on, you're safe now. Let's get you back to the hotel. I'm sorry, Sadie. I wish I could explain. And so do I. Because I'm really starting to struggle with this. This is supposed to be our special night. Now you stand here you're saying you're gay. I didn't say that. I just think I might be. It's not the same thing. I don't even know how I feel. I can't believe I've actually said it. I can't believe you fancy me one minute and not the next. I can't handle this. I need some air. I'll come with you. No! I want to be on my own. You have to believe us. I wouldn't hurt Chrissy for the world. Someone sent us a note. Have you still got it? Oh no, I threw it away. But you can ask Mickey. He delivered it. Everyone's gone. So, what you got to say for himself then? I haven't done anything. We want to believe you, Bill, but you've got to see how this looks. Chrissy was frightened Assaulted. by... Assaulted. ...by someone wearing a Zorro outfit. He threw these at us. It's the underwear that was stolen from the washing line. I've heard enough of this. Maybe the police can sort it out. I didn't take them! Do you want to bring the police in, Chrissy? No. What? You can't let them get away with this. I think we should all go home and sleep on it. Bill, I want you back here first thing in the morning. Have a good long think about what you're going to say to me then, okay? Ben say you did it. So it worked then? Like a dream. You should have seen the look on Phil's face. <laughs> if he thinks this is bad, just wait until he sees what else we've got in store. No one will believe a word he says after this. <laughs> Are you sure you've got it right about Luke? You weren't there. The girl just knocked the face off him right in front of me. He must be cheating on me. Well, there is one other explanation. The girl could have thought Luke was me. I mean, I have snogged a few lasses this week. I don't believe this. And what about Julia and Leanne? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mess things up between you and Luke. I should have given him a chance to explain. Well, why didn't you? Well, he lied about Sam at work that time. And he spent all this week with his eyes out on stalks at all the girls, and doing lazy stuff with you. What was I supposed to think? But you will make things up with him though, won't you? Yeah. In the morning. Thanks, Adam. Oh! Come on. Come on, Sarah. I guess you can bunk in our room tonight if you want. Don't worry, I'll be on my best behaviour. Can't do anything like this. Sadie, oh. please stop! Why? She can string me along and tell me more lies. I don't know who you are anymore, Brad. You said you loved me. How can you do this to me? I do love you. I never knew I felt like this when we met. Oh, great, so are you going out with me and I put you off women for life? Please, Sadie, can we just talk about this? Leave me alone! Where are you going? Away from you!
are you doing? The landlord kicked us out. Six o'clock this morning, would you believe? Oh. I didn't like to wake you. I wish you had. I'm moving in with Granny Lou, Dad. No, son, I've told you, we've got to find somewhere else to live. Don't you worry, Damien. We'll work something out. <laughs> Anything. I didn't do it, any of it. Hey, Bill, I think you need to calm down, mate, all right? Look, go out and take a breather. Come back to the office a bit later on. All right, everybody, show's over. Right, sit, go. Hey, Bailey, I didn't do anything. Uh, Robert! Uh, Jamie! One more twist of the knife. Got to keep an eye on him and wait for the right moment. Bacon and eggs. Oh, hi. Hi, Spud. Sit yourself down, Andrew. There's plenty for all of us. What's happening? Good news. Connor and Damien are moving in for a few days. Oh, so you're awake then. How's your head? <sighs> Lousy. What are you doing here? Look, Sarah, I've got to tell you something about last night. Why are you saying this? Alejandro would never do anything to hurt us. Sarah, I saw him with my own eyes. It doesn't make any sense. I just wish I could remember. Why do you think you can't? Because it was the drug he was pouring down your neck. What have you done to her? What? It's Alejandro you want to be talking to, not me. Why? What happened? I found Sarah in right state last night. Alejandro had been spiking a drink with something. Oh, well that explains what you saw. She thought you two were getting off with each other. That's what it looked like. Well, yeah, but now I know what really happened. Look, this is why he's putting in a drink. Can't smell anything. You wouldn't even know you were drinking it. If I can't remember what happened last night, how do I know that bottle's Alejandro's and not yours, Luke? That's ridiculous. I got it off him. Honest. I'll read, Billy boy. Will you just leave us alone? Oh, hey, man, I'm just being friendly. Thought you'd be glad someone's talking to you. Uh, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, this perv got in me way. All right, that's enough. Bill, ready for you now. What would I be doing with a bottle of GHB? I wouldn't even know how to get hold of something like that. Well, it's your word against Alejandro's. And I think we should hear him out before we go any further. He wouldn't do something like this. I know he wouldn't. He's just some lad you met a few days ago, Sarah. You've known Luke years. And now I trust. Ah, well, you would defend your own brother. Hang on. I know you've had a bad experience, but it sounds like you've got Luke to thank that it wasn't a whole lot worse. I agree with Adam. I mean, I just cannot believe Luke would do something like this. None of us really know Alejandro. He seemed nice enough, but... And I'm telling you, he wouldn't do something like this. He loves us. Sarah, please, you've got to believe me. She needs to rest. Why don't you let her sleep for a couple of hours? I'll keep an eye on her and we can talk about this later. Where's Stumpy? should be here to sort this out. He's probably cracked under the pressure. I knew it would get him eventually. Don't panic. I'm here. About time to. We can't decide what to do about this radio soul. Yeah, we want to do a romance. They just want people getting their heads chopped off. So what do you think, boss? Zombies or some soppy snog fest? Neither. I have already written the script for the BGR soap. What? what? And that's all you've got to say? 
Look, I'm really sorry that Chrissy's been upset like this, but honestly, it's got nothing to do with me. I hope this can convince you. I was here before. What was? Me wallet, it's gone. I'm really sorry, Bill, but what has that got to do with all of this? You don't understand the note. I found the note that Mickey gave us last night, and I put it in me wallet. Bill, even if you had the note, all that means is that it actually exists. You could have written it yourself for Mickey to deliver. It does not prove that you were outside when Chrissy was attacked. All right. We'll keep an eye out for your wallet, Bill. And we'll talk to Mickey about the note, okay? Do you believe him? I don't know what to believe. Brad? Hi. You okay? No. Not really. Are you? No. I said a lot of things last night that I didn't mean. I'm sorry. That's something. I think I need to talk about things. I need to get my head around all of this. Me too. Does this mean you know how you feel now? No, but I suppose I've got to work things out sometime. Anyone lost a wallet? No. no. You better hand it in at the office. I found the reception, so I must have gotten it. Right. Thanks. On the day's work. Well, what do you think? Are you sure you wrote this? Yeah. All with my own fair hand. But this is really good. Aye. I'm sorry. I'm How is he doing it? He's all over the place one minute, and then he comes up with these white ideas. Maybe he's got a secret to him, brother. Rubbish. Stumpy can't even write his own name. Never mind the radio script. He must be cheating. We've just got to find out how. Okay, yeah, come have a quick word, please. Good evening. It's For a lot of stuff. I told you, Andrew. They've been evicted. That's why they've had to bring everything with them until they find somewhere else to live. Still, it'll give me time to get to know them properly. I never thought I'd have that chance. Right, that's the lot then. Um, where's Damien gonna sleep? There's a spare bed in Andrew's room. He won't mind sharing, will you? Actually, the twins won't be happy to come home and find them moved in. They won't mind at all. Connor and Damien, they need somewhere to stay, just as much as you did when you arrived. I can't turn me back on my own flesh and blood. Anyway, they'll be gone in a few days. But you did deliver a note to Bill last night. I don't want to get into any trouble. Why on earth would you say that, Mickey? Well, it wasn't an official job. I found the letter on the desk with the money. I didn't tell Stumpy or write it in the book. And you kept all the money for yourself? To be honest with you, Mickey, I'm only concerned with one thing. Who paid for you to deliver that note? I don't know. They paid in full instead of leaving a deposit. There was no name on the letter. It just said to deliver the bill at nine o'clock. Are you going to tell Stumpy? Not if you go and write it in the book now and leave him the money you took. thing is, the reason why I fell for you was because you weren't like all the other lads. You weren't like all those charvers only interested in one thing. Now I understand why. It isn't as simple as that. I did want to be with you. I still do. But when it came to actually sleeping together... You wished I was a lad? No. It didn't feel right. I always felt different. I didn't know how. I tried not to think about it and hoped it would go away. Go on. 
Can you book this holiday? You were so excited and all I could think about was sharing a room and what that would mean. That's why I cancelled the hotel. That was you? So now you've got another reason to hate me. Brad, I don't hate you. I'm just confused. Maybe it's just me you don't fancy. Maybe if you met another girl. Sadie, look at you. You're gorgeous. I love spending time with you. Should have been perfect. But when we're on the bed last night kissing, things that should have been happening just weren't. We were both nervous. Maybe if we'd waited longer. I don't think that's going to make a difference. I can't pretend I haven't said all this and neither can you. What am I going to do? I don't know, Brad. I don't know. You found it? You'd better take a look through it. Make sure nothing's missing. No, there's nothing missing. Look, here's the note. That isn't mine. It's a receipt for some expensive underwear. It isn't mine. Someone must have planted it on us. You know, it's always someone else according to you, Bill. We want to believe you, Bill, but you've got to admit, all the evidence points your way. I'm sorry. But I think it would be best for all concerned if you stayed away from the Grove for a while. Is she mum? Yeah. No such as in prison. Such as a dirty little thief. And she'll be banged up for the next ten years. Lou wouldn't say that. Well, she did. I heard her talking to my dad. Oops. You did that on purpose. No, I didn't. It's the only picture I've got of her. Did your mum nick the frame for you? <laughs> Cry, baby. Don't even think about blessing to Lou. I'll only tell her it was an accident, and she's bound to believe me. I'm real family, not like you. Well, if it isn't Billy no mates himself, you've not been banned yet, mate. I was just going. Good. Don't want any pervs hanging around here. You set me up. Oh, nice and slander as well. Hey, the list of your crimes just keeps getting longer. My crimes? You were mugging people. Thought that slap I gave you was supposed to shut you up, but nah. Uh, you had the pushes. Well, I hope you learnt your lesson, Billy boy. Don't even think about opening your mouth about any of it. If you think things are bad now, you don't even want to imagine how much worse I can make them. Hi, Kevin. Um, it's me, yeah. I was just wondering, would you be able to give us more help on uh, BGR? Right. The game's up, Stumpy. I knew he was cheating. Yeah, so who's Kevin? Come on, we want to know. Now! Kevin, I think you better come to the Grove. The beans have come out of the bag. You do believe me about Alejandro, don't you? Of course I do. I know you'd never do anything like that. And I'm sorry for getting it so wrong about that girl yesterday. I can't believe you didn't trust me, Andrew. Look, I've just seen Sarah. She's got to find Alejandro. She wants to hear his side of the story. What if he does something else to her? We're going to have to go after her. I've never heard Stumpy mention anyone called Kevin before. Maybe it's some older guy that he's paid to help him. <laughs> Maybe it's his secret twin brother. This is Kevin. He's my cousin. I didn't know you had a cousin, Stuart. Ah, he's a brains of the family. Um, Deluxe. Yeah. I couldn't let Stumpy down in his hour of need. And it sounded like a proper challenge. Got to use my problem solving and time management skills. It's been really good fun. Fun. He's a bit of a nerd. Nothing like me. I've tried so hard to be normal. To fit in. Whatever that means. But I can't believe I'm actually saying this to you. It's okay. It's still weird though. Even saying the word. Okay. See, I can't say it. Not even now. Is that because you're not sure? Or because you think there's something wrong with being gay? Both, I suppose. Look, Brad, if you're gay, then that's who you are. Don't be ashamed. And the people who care about you will understand. I hope so. 
I'm sorry I wasn't more sensitive, you know, when you told us. All I had to think about was myself. Couldn't bear the thought of losing you. I thought you'd want nothing more to do with us. But I don't think you're right about people understanding. Please don't say anything to the other Sadie. You should join the Grove, Kevin. Has Stuart told you that I make the best movies? I can't believe how different you and Stumpy are. Well, we do have a few things in common. We're both like animals. Who do I? What's your favourite? That'd be Wanda. My pet rat. Uh, a rat? Aren't they dirty? A common fallacy. They're actually very clean animals. And Wanda's extremely intelligent and she's got the sleekest coat. So it was Kevin who gave you all the bright ideas? And wrote the radio script? Yep. Afraid so. He's really good at that kind of thing. Unlike you. I knew you couldn't have done it all by yourself. What do you mean? I could have written that if I put my mind to it. Yes, of course you could. We knew you'd make a complete hash of things. That's why I've read the boat. So that's what you've been up to. I reckon Geordie's skivvy.com are going to have to do a few jobs around the grove to make up for your deviousness. Free of charge, of course. As soon as we meet, I know you're not like other English girls. Your Spanish is very good. You learn at college? Yeah. You like sangria? <laughs> I bet you say that to all the girls. Sara, what happened to you last night? I look for you everywhere. I go crazy. Save it for the judge, pal. I'd steer clear of him if I was you, love. He's only after one thing and he doesn't care what he has to do to get it. Don't listen to her. She's crazy, loca. And if he can't get you into bed sober, then unconscious is just as good. She's just jealous because I do not want her. Oh, I should tell the police about you. The police know all about you English girls. You drink too much, you cause trouble, they won't believe your story. Get off of you sicko! Get off her! Got some more? It's not mine. A friend and I gave it to me to look after. Well, you won't mind if I get rid of it then. And that's the least you deserve. Sarah, are you okay? I can't believe I fell for these stupid lines. He said he was in a company cast. Sarah, I'm sorry. I know you really liked him. No, I'm sorry. I should never have doubted you. So now what? Well, I think we should go to the police. So he does that anyone else. Okay, I won't say anything. As far as everybody else is concerned, we're still together. You'd really do that for me? I told you before how much I love you. And now it's time to prove it. But whatever you decide, I hope we'll always be best friends. Always. Come on, I think we better find where the others are. Who are you waiting for? My boyfriend. What's Leanne doing here? Speaking of surprises. All right. Why didn't you tell me you had a baby? You right. Doesn't change who I am. I don't write this. If you find out I'm taping them, you'll kill us. We should get the police on to him. I've got us a gig. I've been thinking about bringing my solicitor and changing me will. Is that something else? Wanda's escaped. It's back. I wouldn't mind some fireworks once in a while.